snoring. Here's the twist. It was her that was the one that was snoring, not him. After the fight, she went to go take a nap and started snoring. So he was so pissed off, he grabbed her clothes, threw them in a box, and set them on fire. I don't know what point that was proving as she's sleeping, but the fire spread and no. started to burn their house down. So he had to wake her up so that they could get out of the house. The police and the fire department investigated the fire. He admitted to everything and has been charged with aggravated arson, which is a first-degree felony, meaning he could get five years to life in prison under Utah law. No. So not worth it, dude. Pick your battles, gangster. Gangsters make the that's crazy, but not as crazy as this. On Friday, the police in New Haven, Connecticut, got a call that two suspected car thieves had been spotted going into a house. So the cops went to the house to flush them out. When they got there, the two men refused to come out, so the cops told them they were going to unleash their canine unit on the house. But the men still didn't come out. Right, bro. And that was a problem, because the dogs weren't actually there. It was all a bluff. So the cops improvised, and they started barking and making their own dog noises. But guess what? It worked, and the two guys walked right out of the house. 20-year-old Kwame Wells Jordan and 23-year-old Norman Boone were both arrested for motor vehicle theft and burglary, and the police were also able to recover the stolen cars. Ruff, ruff. That's gangster. Gangsters make the all right, so this week was April Fool's Day. Let me remind you that no prank is worth getting fired or arrested over, but this lady who worked at a Waffle House decided around 6 a.m. that she would call 911 to report that the place had gotten robbed. What? When the cops got there, Susan told them, oh, April Fool's. <laughs> and they hadn't actually been robbed. Unfortunately for her, what she did isn't a prank. It's called a crime, you dummy. Oh, no. Susan was arrested for falsely summoning the police and is facing up to one year in jail and a $2,500 fine. There's no word on whether the Waffle House will let her keep her job. Yikes. Not gangster. Gangsters make the world go round. Gangsters make the world go round, brother.